Hey YouTube, so here's the 30 gallon tank. Uh, you can see there's three neon tetras in it. They're just kind of in there to be my canaries in a coal mine and see if the water is all safe. I've been testing it with my kit, but I always like to use some cheap fish. Well, I have recently used cheap fish kind of as the canaries in a coal mine to make sure that the water is okay. Uh, I do have four male and four female cherry shrimp in here. They're secondary canaries. <laughs> I also found out that this plant back here is actually water sprite and not water wisteria. I got some water wisteria to float on the top there from the fish store when I got my neons. But this is just a quick progress update. Uh, if everything survives to next week, I intend to add probably about six neons. I want to have a school of about 15 in here, and then I'm going to add some Pristella Tetras. And I haven't decided for my centerpiece fish yet exactly what I want it to be, but I know I want two schools. Just to give a little bit more background on the tank, uh, this shell here has a bit of a story to it. Its other half I'm sure you've seen in my five gallon tank. That's actually from uh, the Olentangy River in Ohio. Uh, I don't live there now, but I did grow up in Ohio. So there's a little piece of the river that I live near in the fish tank too. Funny story, I actually got both halves of that and I dremeled it down and I gave it to my then fiance, now wife. And uh, she just kind of had it sitting there as a an open bowl. And I commandeered it for the fish tank. She was alright with it. You can see the water's cleared up pretty substantially. I don't think it's going to clear up any more than this without water changes. So I'm just sticking to my normal water change schedule now. Thanks for watching.